How often do we see these images on our screens? Do they destroy the female psyche or perhaps empower it? Some suggest that the women who openly talk and emulate sex are just helping to redistribute power and privilege in a male-dominated industry. So I want to know, what do those who are at the heart of this discussion think? I spent a few days speaking to numerous women who have different opinions on the matter, including the woman who initially conducted the study on how the representation of women in the music industry affects our self-esteem. So Dion, tell us what prompted you to actually carry out this two-year study. I was really interested, how do black British women receive these genres to these musical um, lyrics and representations which promote what I feel are very sexualised. I wanted an artist's perspective, so I decided to have an informal chat with North Londoner Lady Likes, who has rippled radio waves since 2009, with her quick-witted lyrics, flashy outfits and supposedly openly sexual dialogue. Tell us a bit more about I Love My Butt because, you know, lyrically it's brilliant, it's really clever, you're sounding brilliant on it, and in terms of visually as well, it's a great package. And for what about for those people who don't get to listen to you talking about it, and it's just bringing more attention and focus on the female form in that respect, what would you say to them? Sex sells and music is a business, so that's what people need to understand. I don't think that um, I Love My Butt is very sexual. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's 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 a song for confidence, do you know what I mean, to uplift you. And that's why even in the song it's not even just about whether you have a big butt or not. Because there's even a little bit, if you ain't got no butt, shake it, bend over. Do you know what I mean? It's just a fun, light-hearted song. You, you are candid in some of your other tracks. Yeah. And I want to mention IT. Yeah. Never think of a floppy disk or a hard drive. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, do you think it's difficult for women to talk candidly about sex? And are you someone that perhaps is a voice for them? It's hip-hop. So I feel like we should be allowed to express ourselves the way we want. I think guy rappers rap about stuff like that all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling empowered. I love my butt. <laughs> love my butt. That's it. Shake it, bend over. Shake it like you really want to break it. If you ain't got no butt. Shake it, bend over. Shake it like you really want to break it. And I'm joined by the multi-award winning writer and the author behind the brilliant blog, Ms. Afropolitan. She goes by the name of Mina Salami. Her expertise is in gender-related issues in African society, as well as media and popular culture. We're going to talk about this study, which was conducted by Birmingham City University to start off with. It concluded that the music industry and the way that women are represented in the music industry has been particularly damaging the self-esteem of young girls, in particular young black British women. What are your thoughts on that? To have the statistics to actually back up these facts mm -hmm. um, is really important and I think it speaks to an issue which, which is one of the most important when it comes to the cultural realm um, for women and the kind of how it shapes female identity. You actually wrote a, a post about we need to eroticize society, mm, yes. which in a way kind of suggests, it, it sounds, it, well in fact, tell us what that means overall. <laughs> what, why do we need to eroticize society? Um, for me, it's not that we shouldn't have sexuality in our culture or that we should hide the fact that human beings are sexual, um, but rather that it is important that we eroticize it because because this word contains a feeling of love, it means that we can be much more honest about our sexual patterns in society. Because what we see right now in videos, for instance, Rihanna's latest video, which I found in some ways to be an empowering video, we kind of imagining her as a man would see her. Mm -hmm. If women artists start crossing the line of actually seeing themselves from their own perspective, videos like Erika Badu's window seat is one which, you know, she's in the video, she's taking off her clothes one by one as she's walking down the street and in the end she's completely naked. But it doesn't feel like she's doing it to cater to the male gaze. So much more to be said on this topic. We have to leave it there for now, but thank you so much. Hey.